This video is brought to you by the Three Minute Board Game patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Hamlet in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode. It's a game for one to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are the family leader in a small hamlet. Can you and your family contribute the most to turning the hamlet into a bustling village? The game ends once the final piece of the central church is built. The winner is the player with the most points, and you get those from completing goals, trading, claiming landmarks, and much more. Tile placement. You will place tiles into the village that everyone can use. Network building. You will use a network of donkey and paths to move goods around the village. Contract fulfillment. You'll complete trade orders at the marketplace. Player turn. Set out the starting buildings with the church in the middle of the table and the town hall, market, and three resource buildings placed connected to it. Each player also places a worker meeple and a donkey at the church. Place two resources at each resource building. A key concept in Hamlet is that the resources are communal, as are most buildings, but your logistic network is private. To use the shared resources, you must have donkeys connected to move them. Each turn you will take an action. Let's run through them. First you can interact with the building. Throughout the game resources will get used, and you can use an action on a resource building to restock it and claim two money. The market lets you trade goods shown on these orders for victory points and money. You can also spend money here without using a worker when doing other actions in order to cover up any shortfalls. You can complete one of the goals needed to finish the church and claim it with a marker. You can use the town hall to get new workers, paying 5, 7 and 9 money for each. You can also spend 3 money to get an extra donkey to use immediately. In addition to these uses, you can also use the town hall to claim a building tile to build later. The final building type is refineries, which turn a basic resource into an advanced one. Unlike other communal resources, these refined resources match your player colour. If you are the first player to build the first refinery of each type, you flip over your refined resources to the high quality side. When someone else uses your refined resource for another building, you gain the points and money printed in the green area here. And if you have high quality goods, that is doubled. You can build a claim tile as an action, spending the resources shown on it. You cannot place it where it would cut off a road, and placing woods bordering stone makes building a path impossible. Here is a good spot, and the red player places a flag to show they own it. You can later build a path that connects the pond to the town hall and church. Paths can only be over matching terrain types. Once the first advanced production building of each type is built, more buildings are added to the potential build queue. Note that tokens go in the tile draw bag, not the tiles themselves. Finally, once per player turn, you can move all your donkeys up to one space. Why would you like this game? Village sets out to be a competitive village building game where players are both competing to win and collaboratively building the same unique and sprawling village. And there's a lot of unique buildings and different ways to score points in this game. And the key to winning is being able to connect your network to all the other buildings and paths you need to score big points. The goals are nice and give you clear targets and the church building incentivizes bringing the game to a close for big points. And overall the meeples, donkeys, coins and tiles are all very well presented. The best thing about this game is the idea of rewarding the first player who builds each class of refinery. However, at every possible term, Hamlet conspires against itself and its stated objectives as a game. The rulebook is one of the worst I've used, the iconography is difficult to read, and the board becomes a cluttered mess. It was like it was tested online and no one actually played a physical copy of the game before it was finalized. And this 3D church is just embarrassing. Ultimately, Hamlet is a game that I feel fails to deliver on its potential. For a far more interesting game about village life, you can check out Village. And for a game where you can opportunistically use others' resources, try Brass Birmingham. Hamlet. More like the comedy of errors. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.